Hello, this is Hero again. Uh, let's call this chapter Non-Gambler Visit to Las Vegas. Uh, this time around, we stayed at the Aria. Uh, my wife found a great deal. Uh, included three nights at a five-star hotel plus the airline uh, for a very good price. Uh, the rooms there are always nice, especially when you start stay at the five stars. But anyway, uh, this is the view from our room. Uh, I, you know, and this is looking at the other way. Uh, I well, to me, you know, I live and work in a very peaceful place. So on my days off, I want to go where there's all kinds of exciting things going on. Of course, you notice that you don't see a whole lot of people. <laughs> this is six o'clock in the morning because um, uh, this is on my way to the Bellagio Garden where I uh, typically go at least one early morning. And so on the way, I was shooting these photos. Uh, well, you know, during the day, there's a whole bunch of people. Sometimes get hard to get good shots. So this early in the morning, you could see the people working. Um, I don't know. I just really like uh, the all the drama, action, and excitement there. And look at this, no traffic, hardly. But I do notice the uh, workers, they have to work in between the crowds. So I'm very appreciative of the people that have to work so hard in uh, times that uh, other people are not there. Now, one of the things that I like to do is to eat. So there's all kinds of uh, eating places. And, well, we'll get to that a little bit later. Okay, the other thing, uh, you know, I'm a landscape architect major. And while in our curriculum, uh, we started out uh, working together with architects and land planners. So I've always been interested in construction. And some of this area that looks so natural now, I've seen it before when this whole section was nothing but a alleyway, not a very nice one at that. And then it has become a nice area. And this Park MGM was uh, something else and they changed the name and we configured the inside. Uh, this area here is one of the most transformed area. This was uh, just a kind of a dirty looking driveway delivery area with garbage and stuff and then they revamped it. And now it's one of the uh, highlights of this uh, area on the strip. You know, I, I, I don't know why, but there's a lot of sweet shop, big sweet shops. And uh, well, you know, as we mature, we have to stay away from things like that. So I guess uh, when you're young and you could still eat all these food. Uh, it's a great place to visit. But uh, yeah, I, every visit uh, other than Bellagio's garden, I always go to this section to see how it's developing. They've been uh, changing a little bit, but it's really gotten really nice uh, from the time that I knew, what, 20 some odd years ago. Some of the stuff I see is great, but some of the stuff they do there, I probably will never ever do, which is uh, these people that are on that cable. See these people? Well, I'm afraid of heights, so I would never get around to doing that. I've been thinking about going on that Ferris wheel but I haven't had the chance. But oof, this, just watching these people uh, makes me nervous. Well, I guess 
In Vegas, they tried all kinds of stuff. And then, oh, yeah, some of the displays I really like. This is uh, where we saw the, uh, the, the love, the Beatles love. Uh, I've seen it three times, actually. And each time it's slightly different and you leave feeling really great. That's one thing about Vegas. They do everything in a big way. So this area, I come in and check out the, the uh, seasonal display. We were there uh, just before uh, Christmas. So all these decorations are all in place. Yeah. So we hop from casino to casino. My wife gambles a little bit and I go check out the, uh, the remainder of the casino. Okay, one of the things we do there is to eat. Well, we quit trying to go for those really pricey with name uh, chefs, but we are after great food at a reasonable cost. There are some really favorites. Uh, this was a new one to us, but we found this ramen shop that is very reasonable and tasty. So we always make at least one stop there, sometimes even twice. But anyway, uh, that's kind of what we do in Vegas, eat. Yeah, this one here, we ended up uh, getting a takeout because it ate too much for lunch. Here's another one that uh, we ate in. Yeah, there's some restaurants that we already pegged as must stop this thing. This was one of them. It's called Lada Noodles, and it was pretty good. Okay, the other thing I'd like to do is to watch the construction. Uh, this is not far from our ramen shop, and there's big towers going up. And I'm trying to figure out what the heck it is. But you notice that it's very difficult to be building something like this when there's so many people. Uh, I just love construction. So I, I've been, you know, watching this area, that area. And then, oh yeah, the last time we were here, this is Caesars. Some of the things were getting a little run down. It looks like they just uh, repainted this. So it looks brand new. I think, oh yeah, this is Caesars. Uh, let's see, we'll get to the next frame. Yeah, I think in the one after this, I saw them uh, doing a lot of patch-up work. Uh, I think the water was not, uh, well, it might have been leaking somewhere because the last time I was there, they were doing all this ceiling. And it looks pretty good now with water. So, and then, you know, all the details. Uh, that's why I usually take my uh, high-powered zoom. And then a lot of times I'll get things that are not uh, readily seen by most people. <clears throat> and the artwork, uh, this is in Bellagio's, uh, one of the shops, and they have some really cool things, some things that are kind of way out there. Well, you know me and camera, so I kind of looked, took a picture of this one here, kind of interesting. And then they have some really funky stuff, I don't know, I didn't understand what this was. Yes, and gift shop. And everything in Vegas is done in a, a fantastic way. Oh yeah, this is some more. This is chocolate coming down in the fall. This is in Bellagio. Did I tell you I love Bellagio? <laughs> anyway, so anyway, coming back home, uh, I, I always try to get a window seat. And I look down and I'm amazed at how big 
this country is. And then, you know, like, I like cowboy movies, right? And I imagine all those poor people that had to cover this ground in a wagon train. Oh my God, how do you cross something like this? But anyway, uh, that's what I do. I just kind of look out the window and imagine things. And very grateful that I'm not down there trying to uh, go from one end of the Americas to the other. Uh, then occasionally I recognize this is Lake Tahoe and it's beautiful no matter how you look at it. So anyway, that's what I tend to do on my way home. Uh, I like to get a window seat and I get my camera and I start to imagine. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, my little trip to Las Vegas and the trip home. This is the Sacramento Valley. Oh yeah, and then in the end, this is what Vegas is all about. Kind of on the tacky side, but I think it represents what Vegas is. Okay, this is your saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter.